Hello all, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm starting sort of a new series. It might become a series, it might not, depending on how it does. But this series, the goal is, by the end of the series, if you follow every tutorial, you will have an entire, fully built, fully detailed, good looking city. Just before this video starts, I should like to say, this video is actually sponsored. It's sponsored by the subscribe button. So please hit it if you enjoy my videos, because that's literally my sponsor. Anyway, this episode is actually about roads. So this is the first episode, and pretty much how it works is I'm going to be showing you examples of it and just talking about the overall design, and then I'll go into like sort of a block by block tutorial, and then we'll all, I'll also while doing the block by block tutorial, I'll also build an entire start building a city on another world. And then by the end of the series, that city will be fully complete. I'm going to have an example. Anyway, <laughs> you can see I've got a lot of examples here. But let's get on to it. So, roads. Basic design is this. Uh, it's got lines down the middle, and it's got two sides. And now what you're seeing here is an example of lots of different types of roads, lots of different materials. And when you, when you want to build your roads, the first thing you want to do is pick what material you want. So over here I have... Lots of different materials. I have the black concrete powder, I have blackstone, I have world, I have concrete, and I have grey concrete powder. And of course, you know, it could be any different colour, any different material. They can have different line lengths down the middle, you can have um, different colours, you can have different line colours, you can have different path types. Uh, the path can be different height, because over here we've got one half a slab up. It can be a whole block if you want, and that doesn't usually look very good though. Over here, we've got the three most common types of road, road width, which is uh, seven, with three on both sides. You have nine, four on both sides, and you have 11, five on both sides. And you may have noticed from all the examples from now on, I'm going to be using black concrete, white lines with a length, line length of two. Then we have stone brick, uh, stone brick paths, and it's going to be five on each side 11 blocks wide overall so right here you can see a basic intersection and i've actually got these traffic light designs i cannot find anywhere else on the internet i didn't really look that hard but i couldn't find any of them what i did is i took the last line and i bring it out across leaving one block space and that's going to be your giveaway sort of area where the, the cars line up when they're about to go out i did a basic just random pattern in the middle here just to show you you know, that's like the centre of it. And then I built some uh, posts here using a sea lantern as the base. I used deep slate tile walls and I used uh, quartz as the top. Which, if you notice down here, is the same as these lamps. Which I forgot to show you earlier, but these are some street lights. So it's this one over here, which is more of a modern one, which the light is actually at the bottom. And then there's this one, which is just a lantern on an end rod. Over here, you've just got a basic T-junction. And now these can... The way I did it, I just have a giveaway uh, sort of mark here uh, onto like a, a main road. Both the roads are five wide. But over here you can see I did one which, with a smaller road, like a smaller sort of side road leading in, which is only three wide. Um, you see it's pretty much just the same with that white line. And over here, I've also added some traffic lights in just to show you which way the traffic lights are going to go. And uh, of course, um, I've got to mention, but when I put traffic lights down, I always put it across the road from... Where, you're, where the car is going to be. Never, never like right above. Otherwise like if you're in a car here. You have to look right all the way up there. To see you know the traffic light. So it's better if it's across the road. So you actually have a good view of it. Which is what I did over here. You see over here traffic light. Traffic light. And traffic light. Of course you don't usually have traffic lights. On the T intersection. So over here you've got a sort of slope. More of a ramp. But this is a very steep ramp. Because when you're going to be when you're going to be building roads, even especially roads this big, when you're doing a slope, it has to be very, very shallow. Because otherwise, it just looks terrible. And roads in real life, they are always very shallow increase. And here you can see two basic motorways or highways, I guess, as another word for it. But um, over here we have just two lanes, um, and in the middle I put double lines. Uh, so you have two lanes on each side, each one is five. On motorways you definitely want like lanes of five, maybe even seven, 
six or seven. Um, but yeah, so lanes. Uh, and usually an odd number is better just because most small things are in odd numbers. And over here you have a larger highway. And this time I connected the dots. So in the middle, two rows, I have when I have the double line in the center, I just instead of having a uh, space every two, I have one every five. And I just build in those gaps in the middle. And this also does have a, a divergent road. I can't remember what the name is for this, but um, a, a merge merge road, whatever you do. When you when you drive, you merge into the highway. And uh, and then you sh this usually is a lot longer. But um, if you want to do a small one, then this is how I usually do it. I just make it curve in to the road. I also put some signs here, which aren't very good. I just you I mean I, I just put some blocks down and shove whatever I wanted on them. You can put whatever you want there, banners with letters on them, whatever you want. Over here is a car park, and now there are some cars around. You might have seen earlier. Uh, I'll show you on, the cars will be in a later episode. But um, over here you have a basic car park, and what I did is just have a five wide road all the way around, as as the way you drive around. And you have some smaller car parks over here, which is like for cars this size. And you have some slightly larger ones over here, which for like cars sort of more this size. And of course you have some bus sort of car parks, bus or lorry ones, um, parking spaces. And for the parking spaces for the buses, you're going to need a lot more room. Because buses, like, obviously they're going to take a lot of room to back out of it and maneuver and whatever. But I also, what I did here is, when I have the in and out, I put a line, the giveaway line for the out. And that's pretty much it for roads. <laughs> I mean, there's not... There's not really that much more you need to know about roads. Um, and now we can start doing our main project where I do the block by block tutorial. And this one isn't very complicated, the block by block tutorial for any of these, because it's mostly just flat. But we'll do it anyway. Just looked it up, and apparently I am not very good at road markings which is probably self-explanatory since i don't have a driver's license um but it turns out that the giveaway isn't just like a single straight line although it can be but there's different giveaways for each scenario on like the road markings so i'm just going to go with what i have already okay so i'm going to start off the road just one block above the ground on pretty much the highest point around just because i think Anything we're going to do, we don't want to terraform the ground out of the way. We want to terraform the ground up to meet the city, if that makes sense. But anyway, what I'm going to do is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's now 5 long. And then just a white line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A white, a white line or block, I guess. 1, 2, what 1. And then another white block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. White block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's your basic, uh, basic, uh, basic road with two lanes. I think two lanes because it's got four lanes overall, but two lanes on each side. I'm using two, uh, two wide roads, um, road lines. So I'm just going to build out all of these road lines by uh, two, and then place the black on the end of those. And then uh, I'm going to build them up by another two. This is going to give us a sense of where the road is and what section we're at. And I'm going to fill all of the rest in with black concrete, just like that. And then. I'm going to add not another layer of concrete. So um, this is where the intersection is going to start. And if we're driving on the right side of the road, then I'm going to put some giveaway signs just along here. So if I go from the line on the, uh, line on the left, and then I go out. So uh, I put a line on the left here, and also here. Uh, I just made it three long. So there's there's two. It's too long. And then I put another like extra bit going out, and then you're gonna to want to fill the rest of that in with black concrete, that layer, and there you go. You have the end of your road where you have to give way on the intersection, not give way, but like stop on the intersection. All right, so I've counted this, and it's 25 long, which means you're gonna to want to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's 25 long. And you're going to, uh, and also, I mean, build another layer across here. And then you can imagine, this is sort of just an L shape, right? So that layer there, and then that layer. And you're going to want to fill this entire thing in with black concrete. 
Uh, I mean, there will come some um, bits in there later, but that's the center of your intersection for now. All right, so I'm just going to build up the path a bit on both sides. Two wide paths. You know what? Let's go three wide. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's stop them where the giveaway bit is, uh, because that's also where the other road starts going that way. So you can build that out by three as well. So it's sort of an L shape of equal proportions in each arm. And then you have the corner pathway. And then you're going to want to build out this line across here. All the way across to the other end. And then you're going to go in by one. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to, uh, miss out one. And one, two, three, four. Of white. And then you're going to want to miss out the rest of them. And then these are the two giveaway parts of this side. So you're going to, on, going to want to go back by three. Take that across all the way for five blocks. No, four blocks. <laughs> That's it. And two white with a black. And do that again for this line. And then another line of black. And then just two white. And then do this lane, which is five. One, two, three, four, five. And then do that line there. One, two, three, four, five. And I screwed up somewhere here. Okay, I found where I screwed up. So earlier, those are supposed to be five. So to fix that, you just move that one across and then gap there. So it has to be one, two, three, four, and five with the two. So it has to be five long instead of four long. So do that across there. And you have two five long ones and then that white line. So you go five so you go one and then you do the five. One, five, one, one, then five. And then, so that's five blocks across there. And then another line, and one, two, three, four, five. And there you go. Those are the basic markings of where your other road is connecting up. So let's just build those out by another line. Just like that. And then you're pretty much going to want to do that for the rest of the entire, uh, the, the rest of the side. So you want to bring this out again, this path out here. I mean, you don't need to do the path, but it just makes it easier to see where you need to go. And again, build this up by three. And then you're going to have to want to build the giveaway parts and the, I'd start, I did two lines just for each part of this inter intersection. Just like that and now we've done pretty much all of the road markings around the edges and now I'm just going to put some random stuff in the centre. So what I've done is I've put a box Two blocks in from each line, so you just make a white box and then go two blocks in from there, two blocks in from all the giveaway signs, all the giveaway uh, road markings, but uh, I should have said. Yeah, so two blocks in from all the uh, giveaway road markings, if I can say that correctly. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some diagonal lines across this. So I'm probably going to do one here, and then one, two, three, and do again. And I'm going to repeat that across the entire thing. I then turn it around and do the different the other direction. And I've ended up with this, and I don't particularly like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove every other line. So go here, 
remove that line. Uh, that, you know, and then that line keep in, and then move that line, and so on and so forth. That's a bit better. Final thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some gaps into it. Okay, that's looking quite a lot better now. All I did was I went down here and I put a gap in between every other one. So I took the one in the corner and just sort of Sort of checkered pattern all the way around the edge. Okay, now I'm going to build some traffic lights. So what I'm going to do over here is across from this this giveaway side uh, road sign over here. We go here, break that block, place a sea lantern down on the edge. So I like uh, I go to the edge of this one, the part the edge the path bit of this giveaway sign, and I go across the other side, and then I place down sea lantern there, sea lantern there. I go one two. Three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six up. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way across. So it's pretty much just a nine with that middle line there. And then you could build it out by two in the other direction. And you sort of got your uh your your big pole here, which you hang the traffic lights from. And now for now I'm just gonna place down two Black concrete there, and uh, uh, well, two two sets of two black concrete there, and also here. And now you've done that, you want to do that for all the other corners. Okay, now you've done that, you want to go down here, put some walls behind the actual traffic lights themselves. Sort of as if they're being attached there by some, I don't know, cables or like a metal pole. And then I'm going to show you how to do the banner. Okay, so you get your loom, get your orange banner, put the orange banner in there, red dye, and then do the top third. And then you do the bottom third, not the half. But not, not, not the bottom half, but the actual bottom third itself. And then you go in here, do the black dye for the outline, which is like sort of the the. I'm not sure, really sure what shape. I'm not really sure what that shape is, but uh, and then you do the bordered one, the border around the outside, the straight one, and then you get your traffic lights. And that's pretty much the entire video. So thank you for watching. Watch out for number two in this series. I also hope you like the logo thing I just quickly threw together um, for the series. And also, if there's anything you didn't want, I, you uh, you wanted me to show, which I didn't show, uh, how to build like a block by block tutorial on in this episode, then just let me know. Because I mean, I thought that everything else in this video was self-explanatory. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my sponsor, the subscribe button. And maybe even punch it, you know. Feel free to do whatever. Uh, but thank you for watching and goodbye.